and kept in by Hayes. Now Barkley almost playing as a right winger, feeds that one down the outside to Murphy Agnew, the American, back to Hayes. We know how effective she can be with set pieces, but she can deliver a ball into the box as well. Tash Flynn, edge of the area, turns. Well, she was allowed acres of space to make the shot there. Got it on target, but Katie Frayne down to her right-hand side makes the save. Yeah, good positive play from Flint there, round about the edge of the box. We've seen her more than capable from that distance. As Hibbs flight a ball into the Celtic box again, headed away by Hayes. Cross comes short. I think Kelsey Doherty needed to make that save. I think that was it. Heading goal, what had she not? It's a great save. She had to deal with that. Cross comes short, I think it was, as you say, keeping in at the far post there. The Hips are playing some good stuff, playing yeah, with the confidence. Game's, the game's turned on its head. Nice little turn there. Now, here's Agnew on the left-hand side. Flint screaming for it. She's held it up. Oh, and the goalkeeper's dropped it. Oh, I thought it was going to sneak in. My goodness. Well, goalkeeper made an absolute mess of that cross. There was no real threat to her. Took her eye right off it. Almost dropped it into her own goal. And it's gone behind for a corner. Just drifted through her fingers and you see, almost dropped into the net. Space for the cross and it goes. Tash Flint in there. Ball breaks back to Ashworth Clifford. Now Agnew goes for goal herself, and Celtic it is now who hit the crossbar. Oh, the goalkeeper beaten all ends up there from the shot. Ashworth Clifford now has a goal. Weak effort back in by Hayes. Desperate defending as the flag is up on this near side. Offside against Celtic. And it's Hibbs that breathe again now. Yeah, well, that's obviously the closest we've came. There was an option in the far side. She decides to take the shot on herself. It just didn't dip enough. Just hits the top of the barn, comes back out. Gives it straight to Shen. Gallagher. Forward by Shen. Agnew keeps it in, supported well by Ashworth Clifford. Now Tash Flint. If they can find her, is in space. Tash Flint up against one defender. Cuts inside, goes for goal. Great save from Katie Frayne. The shot was well on target. It needed a good save. Well, it was a great break. They spotted her on the far side. All of a sudden, bearing down 1v1. Decided to come in on the strong left foot. And it's a good save. Yeah, space was on the right-hand side, but Cash Flint much stronger on her left. Can Celtic conjure up a bit of magic towards the end of the game? Ball breaks the way of Kavanagh now. Flint back to goal. Oh. Amy Gallagher, of all people, taking her eye off that, but Celtic still have it in an attacking position. Shen. Lou. Chance for Amy Gallagher. Again. Amy Gallagher goes for goal! Unbelievable scenes here at Celtic Park! Celtic's top scorer of the season! has found the back of the net in the final minute. And that goal could go down in history because it could be the goal that gave Celtic's women's team their first ever league title. Wow. You talk about, <laughs> you talk about drama, Jerry. My goodness. And she's not had a real sniff at all this afternoon, Amy Gallagher, the top goal scorer. I think she maybe got the break of the ball a couple of times there, but nevertheless, she kept going, found the back of the net, the seeds here at Celtic Park, unbelievable. Well, Celtic were putting the pressure on, 
but the final ball just hadn't been right. Amy Gallagher, she still had so much to do when the ball broke her way, taking it past two Hibs players. But when she gets a sight of goal, as we've seen so often this season, she knows exactly how to put it past the goalkeeper. She kept her shot low, giving Katie Frey no chance. We're now into added on time. And all those, back, a great finish, all those minutes that I hope the referee would add on. Yeah. I hope he doesn't now. <laughs> Celtic have done it. One piece of Amy Gallagher magic. And Celtic have won the title. As Rose Riley presents the trophy to Kelly Clark. And the celebrations can now begin. Celtic are the champions. For the first time in our history, Celtic FC women's team and Kelly Clark as captain raise the championship trophy aloft. The first time a club has men's and women's champions simultaneously.